Good morning, friends. I hope that you are having a great day. As a reminder, we are having weekly kindness challenges. And this week's kindness challenge was to entertain someone with a happy dance, be kind to yourself and do 10 one minute exercises or list 10 things that you are grateful for. If you would like to share any of those ideas with me, if you made your list or share what exercises you did, I would be more than happy to see them. And um, I'll also share some too. I can give you 10 exercise ideas and also a list of 10 things I'm grateful for. So to go along with kindness, we are going to read have you filled a bucket today? This is one of my favorite books to uh, remind myself to be kind to others. And I hope that you love this book just as much as I do. All day long, everyone in the whole wide world walks around carrying an invisible bucket. You can't see it, but it's there. You have a bucket. Each member of your family has a bucket. Your grandparents, friends, and neighbors all have a bucket. Everyone carries an invisible bucket. Look at how colorful those buckets are. Your bucket has one purpose only. Its purpose is to hold your good thoughts and good feelings about yourself. You feel very happy and good when your bucket is full and when you feel very sad and lonely when your bucket is empty. When you have good thoughts, your bucket is full and happy and colorful. When you're sad, it's empty. Other people feel the same way too. They're happy when their buckets are full and they're sad when their buckets are empty. It's great to have a full bucket, and this is how it works. <gasps> Pay attention. You need other people to fill your bucket, and other people need you to fill theirs. So how do you fill a bucket? Remember, your bucket is invisible, so we're not putting actual things in there. Let's see how we can fill each other's buckets. You fill a bucket when you show love to someone, when you say or do something kind, or even when you give someone a smile. That's being a bucket filler. Oh, so when we do something nice for someone, when we show love or we smile, that fills someone's bucket. A bucket filler is a loving, caring person who says or does nice things to make others feel special. When you make someone feel special, you are filling a bucket. So they are showing kindness by holding the umbrella to keep each other dry. And she is giving, it looks like her grandma, some flowers. That's being a bucket filler. But you can also dip into a bucket and take out some good feelings. You dip into a bucket when you make fun of someone, when you say or do mean things, or even when you ignore someone. That's being a bucket dipper. A bully is a bucket dipper. A bucket dipper says or does mean things that make others feel bad. Oh man, I don't want to be a bucket dipper. Do you? I don't want to take from someone's bucket. I want to fill it up. Many people who dip have an empty bucket. They think that they can fill their own bucket by dipping into someone else's, but that will never work. You never fill your own bucket when you dip into someone else's. But guess what? When you fill someone's bucket, you fill your own bucket too. You feel good when you help others feel good. Is that true? Have you ever helped someone and then felt good about yourself after? I do. All day long, we are either filling up or dipping into each other's buckets by what we say and what we do. Try to fill a bucket and see what happens. Remember, go back to that kindness challenge. Do a happy dance for someone. That will fill their bucket. I bet you get a smile too. You love your mom and dad. Why not tell them you love them? You can even tell them why. 
Your caring words will fill their buckets right up. I challenge you to do that today. Tell your mom and dad why you love them. What do they do that makes you feel loved? Watch for smiles to light up their faces. You will feel like smiling too. A smile is a good clue that you have filled a bucket. If you practice, you'll become a great bucket filler. Just remember that everyone carries an invisible bucket and think of what you can say or do to fill it. Everyone has a bucket, even you. Here are some ideas for you. You could smile or say hi to the bus driver. He has a bucket too. You could invite the new kid at school to play with you. See how the buckets are full? They look happy. You could write a thank you note to your teacher. You could tell your grandpa that you like to spend time with him. There are many ways to fill a bucket. I bet you can think of a lot of bucket filler ideas. Bucket filling is fun and easy to do. It doesn't matter how young or old you are. It doesn't cost any money. It doesn't take much time. And remember, when you fill someone else's bucket, you fill your own bucket too. When you're a bucket filler, you make your home, your school, and your neighborhood better places to be. Bucket filling makes everyone feel good. Look at how happy that picture is. We all want to be bucket fillers, right? So why not decide to be a bucket filler today and every day? Just start each day by saying to yourself, I'm going to do something to fill someone's bucket today. And at the end of each day, ask yourself, did I fill a bucket today? Yes, I did. That's the life of a bucket filler. And that's you. We can all be bucket fillers. The end. Good luck with your kindness challenge.